upcoming book, The Fabulous, The Lying, Hustling, Grifting, Stealing, and Very American Legend of George Santos. The book isn't out yet, but you're already making news with it. Um, this ethics report detailed quite a bit, and, and it's stuff that, that you have in here. So yeah. walk me through what he was spending all this money on. I mean, one of the great things about this ethics report is it just shows definitively the kind of patterns that he's been living his whole life, what I've been reporting on for the last couple of months. Um, he has always been kind of interested in gambling. Uh, he's always been interested in shaping his body, Botox, Ozempic, liposuction, all these kinds of things. And now we know that he was spending campaign money on them, which is just Why insane. did he think that spending his campaign money would be okay, that he'd get away with that? I think that one thing I've learned about him is that if you can imagine something, he will try it. You know, he's tried every kind of hustle, small to big. And again, this is what's great about the report, shows the big and the small. It was so sloppy, though, when he was filing his campaign finance reports. Everything was, you know, just under the threshold mm -hmm. that would be audited. And when you do it that many times, you say you've spent, you know, $999.99. Over and over again, I think it's up to 10,000 yeah. actually. Um, didn't he realize that that would look suspicious? You know, he's been doing kind of suspicious things his whole life, and he's never really gotten fully caught. And so I think that he just kept trying, you know, and he never, he never had, he was acting with impunity his whole life. And only now is he kind of hitting up against the Why law. Why has he not resigned? I think he has very little reason to resign because no great things are coming in his future, right? Until he's done with kind of his jail time and is on Dancing with the Stars or something like that. But he's got a couple of hard years ahead of him. So why did this person who was obsessed with the way he looked, obsessed with luxury, want to become a U.S. congressperson, which is not the most luxurious job. It doesn't have the most luxurious paycheck. Yeah. Well, what I was writing about in the, in the Fabulous is kind of his twofold reasons. On the one hand, he it was interested in the money he could make and the way he could kind of fund a very nice lifestyle, Sephora, Ferragamo, et cetera, um, on the campaign dime, or even more simply, just going out to nice restaurants, right? So that's part of it. And he also, I think, got caught up in this kind of political maelstrom of this, you know, post-2016 moment where politics was like the exciting thing to be in. And he's the kind of guy that is sort of interested in being famous and a little sloppy and messy, and politics it is. It's a good salary on paper, but not one that'll support a $4,000 shoe habit. Um, Mark Shoshana, thank you very much. When does the book come out? Tuesday after Thanksgiving. Tuesday so we're very after close. Thanksgiving, so we're getting a preview of it now. It's called The Fabulous. Mark, thank you very much. Thank Congratulations you so much. on the book.